red gel people, they are the chai, they original from China. The red gel follow the Chinese calendar, it's like a lunar calendar. The people think that book can take the overseas of the people life. When going to the mountains is usually to get to the peaks. But this time is different and it's not in the peaks I'm interested. I'm interested in the valleys and the people living in there. The valleys near Sapa in North Vietnam present some of the richest and most culturally diverse heritage in the entire world. Here at the border with China, different culture and ethnic tribes live together. The Black Among, the Thai, the Rat Zhao, all of them with different languages, traditions and costumes. The first day, we walk for about 12 kilometers. What I loved was walking on the rice fields. That was really fun, by the way. Although a bit risky of getting wet. Some are wobbling. No. My guide was Zhang, who runs a family business with his wife, Lang. Together, we walk for more than 40 kilometers across different valleys. The plant used to produce the dark blue color to use for the traditional clothes of the Black Among people. I am uh, Lang from the Black Among tribe. I work for Real Sapa. We have small group cousins, uh, Black Among business together. So I want to show the Hmong real life and also for all the minority life around Sapa. culture is very strong. We all learn from our family and example my parents or my grandparents they are alive and they are want we to keep the traditional costumes and learn to sewing. When we are girls we don't learn to sewing, we are not able to be married. This is my traditional Hamong dress. Uh, this is I do myself. And this is the color made from indigo. And you see in my uh, arm, this is where we start. It takes us about one year. This is the skill of the Black Hamong women. All the girls grow up and they have to learn to do their own traditional clothes until they are about 14 or 15. They can tell how skilled you are when you wear this out.
Good morning. Let me show you the beautiful view that you have from, from here. In Sapa, we have five different ethnic groups. So we have Black Common, that's the biggest uh, population. And we, the second biggest is the Red Chow, the tribe we stay tonight. And uh, the uh, Thai people and uh, Zai and Safa people. The Black Among have traditionally black dresses, while the Red Chow are famous for the elaborated hats of their woman. During my stay, I had the opportunity to watch a ceremony of the Red Chow people. It happens that the neighbors invited us. People in this valley believe in natural power. They think that every natural element, humans, animals, plants, mountains, have their own souls and they respect it. The Valley of Sapa is one of the most enchanting places I've ever seen. Not just about the scenery, the amazing rice field, the reason to come here is really to discover its amazing people, the ethnic tribes, uh, their custom, their tradition and their deep cultural heritage, which is still preserved and still can be seen today. The question is, what does it mean walking in the mountains without reaching the peaks? It's like an act of non-violence, a desire to understand the people living there, a desire to explore the true meaning of walking.